Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we're going to continue on the topic of Tom Platt and look at his back routine. Now I reckon Tom Platt had one of the best backs in the early 80s and I think this photo proves it. I mean, look at this shot of his uh, lat spread. I mean, god damn. I remember Padilla, Danny Padilla in Pumping Iron when Franco actually spread his lats. He tells Arnold, you know, he, he could fly with those. But damn, I mean... If Franco could fly with his lats, I reckon Tom Platts could freaking travel into space to the moon and back with that with those sort of lats. I mean, they're just enormous. I mean, <laughs> I can barely see the gap between his lats and his forearms. That spread is so wide, and not just the width, but the thickness of the back is phenomenal. I mean, damn, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Let's have a look at uh, Tom Platts' recommendations for this incredible thick thick and wide um, lat development so uh, Tom Platt's back training recommendations basically he, he mainly used um, basic compound movements just like all the golden era bodybuilders um, you don't see uh, too many uh, fancy equipment back in the late 70s at all um, mainly it was a lot of barbell work deadlifting and uh, very little machine work one of the principles that they all often shared was go as heavy as possible in strict form um, and of course in the style of Tom Platts he would take it to the next level and um, at the end of sets finish off with partials for the extra stretch and for the extra stimulation another great shot of Tom Platts here double bicep shot from the back Look at that lower back tie-in. That, that, I mean, damn, the, the lower back tying in with those lats. Incredible. Look look how low those lats go. Damn. I mean, you can see that Christmas tree just needs a star. And then you've got that thick, ripped, absolutely ripped uh, trapezius. Um, I mean, it's just a full, complete package at the back. I reckon his back was better than Franco's, to be honest. I mean, Franco's back was pretty pretty awesome but but this back i mean it's thick and wide it's it's phenomenal no wonder he had so much strength tom platz was in, in, incredibly strong so the exercises that tom platz commonly used especially he recommends the deadlift for beginners um, for overall strength bulk and power another basic movement that tom platz recommends is the basic chin up performed in all different kinds of widths. Here he's doing a uh, wide grip chin, really focusing on the contraction. You can really see that in his face, of course. And uh, a very, I guess, uncommon exercise not seen nowadays is the Vince Garanda close grip chin up to the lower sternum. Now, Franco, Arnold, everyone used to do this. And of course, um, when Tom Platt's Saw the um, saw the golden era bodybuilders as a young teenager. He emulated what they did, and um, to be honest, as I said, not many people do this exercise nowadays. And it is excellent for the lower lat to uh, waist to tie in. It's phenomenal. T bar rows. We all know that Franco loaded down. I mean, nine to seven, eight plates. God knows how much, and just rode and rode to get his back. And so did t uh, Tom Platts. I mean. Tom Platts was also an advocate of the T-bar row. Barbell rows was another basic exercise, uh, basic compound exercise that Tom would also use. Seated cable rows is another favorite of Tom Platts. And of course he learned this by watching um, bodybuilders like, Arn like Arnold basically, who as we've seen in pumping iron, allows the cable to pull him all the way forward and then he would row back, having a full contraction with his chest out, uh, arched back, and getting that full contraction, especially low. Look how low he's actually rowing the bar to get the full lat from top to bottom. Phenomenal. Dumbbell pullovers for the serratus. You don't see many bodybuilders today working on their serratus and intercostals, and dumbbell pullovers done with a heavy dumbbell actually are excellent at developing these muscles. So let's look at uh, one of the pre-contest routines advocated by Tom Platts. Wide grip chins performed for six sets times 15 reps. Cable rows as performed 
as explained earlier, a long range motion allowing the bar, sorry, allowing the, the cable to pull you all the way forward and having a full contraction on the way back. Six sets for 15 reps. Heavy T-bar rows with partials was performed by Tom Platt for six sets of eight reps only. Again, heavy T-bar rows, therefore a lower rep range. And dumbbell pullovers for the serratus, six sets of 10 reps. Check out this awesome three-quarter back shot of Tom Platt's. I mean, how awesome is this? Look at the thickness on his back. Incredible. What a great shot. So I finish off this video with this amazing shot again of Tom Platt's. The width and the thickness of the back is just incredible. This photo speaks volumes. You know how much he's trained to get this thickness and this width. It is incredible. I just can't. I, I just look at this shot and to be honest, it's, it's not hard to be impressed. It is just, wow. I mean, it just goes bang. Amazing shot. Amazing shot. Wow. It's incredible. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't for more content like this from the Golden Era Bookworm. And uh, yeah, leave me your comments. What do you think of Tom Platz's back and of his training routine? Thanks for watching this video. And this is me saying bye for now.